So as you can see, it's daylight out. So we just came down a big hill and we came around a turn and there was a big stoppage on the road and a bunch of flour had fallen off the back of a supply truck, which I imagine was taking aid to Haiti. So we just got through that and we're about 10 miles from the Haitian border. We've had a blown tire as well as some mechanicals on one of the vehicles. So hopefully we won't have any problems going over the border. You're gonna be overwhelmed by it when you walk when you get in there. So, and it's not your textbook style. So. We just ran into some doctors who are leaving Haiti and they actually recommended that we put our names and MD on our shirts, on our scrubs so that people know that we're doctors because it is chaos, so people can identify us as doctors if they need us. I uh, spoke with one doctor, he had been in there for a week now, he's actually taking a, a break, coming out to get more supplies, but he told me, hey Jim, just get in there and immerse yourself and it's gonna become second nature because it's, uh, it's just the need is so great and there's nobody treating these people, so pretty much anything you do is better than what's happening right now. So right now we are just crossing the border. As you can see, this is the gate actually entering into Haiti and you can immediately see a change. The road just went from paved to gravel. It's literally a little bit more chaotic the minute we crossed the border. We went from buildings to little shanties and a definite change in just the environment. People here have a, a look on their face of urgency and need uh, and concern because right. you know that their loved ones are there and, uh, and are in need of, of you guys. It's definitely much more focused and much more determined. Definitely um, a, a change in feel, a change in emotion. Um, it's quite striking. We're getting ready to hop out of the bus and head into the first hospital. And uh, I'm putting some of this vapor rub on the inside of my mask because everybody tells us that the worst part uh, of it here is the smell, the smell of uh, dead bodies. We, uh, we just got into town. We just made our first pass through Port-au-Prince. And um, it's truly like nothing you've ever seen. I mean, the entire town is been devastated by this earthquake. You know, you think that there's going to be destruction and some buildings are going to be done. It's the entire town. It's it's like nothing I've ever seen. And uh, now we're at the hospital and the doctors are getting their gear and we're going to head inside.